Recently, Cyclone Sitak was in news. Uh, this cyclone was originated in Bay of Bengal region and moved towards northeast. This cyclone created a huge landfall, uh, rainfall and also very much destruction to the life, human resource and much more. So uh, this is a tropical cyclone. So in today's video, we will learn that uh, what are cyclone, how they form, naming of cyclone and also some facts about cyclone. At the end of the class, I will also uh, give you answers of yesterday's class and also uh, provide some questions for revision purpose. So let's begin. My name is Nikita Chahan and you are watching Learn with Nikki. So let's get started. Types of cyclone, first tropical, second polar, third mesur and fourth is extra tropical cyclone. In today's video, we will learn about tropical cyclone. So a uh, tropical cyclone, what is tropical cyclone? Tropical cyclone is low uh, pressure and high velocity wind system over the tropics originate in the oceans. So the, these four stages are given uh, of the formation of cyclone. So uh, what we have to understand is any system, any wind system with low pressure and speed more than 62 km per hour creates a cyclone. As the speed increases, the severity of cyclone increases. These are the factors affecting the formation of cyclone. So uh, what are these factors? First is temperature above 27 degrees Celsius. Second is the depth of uh, wa warm water uh, till uh, 30 to 70 meters. And uh, that wa water should be warm enough. And uh, then vertical wind shear Coriolis for diversion and conversion of wind. So to understand this concept, I will elaborate in another language Hindi. So you will understand it better way. So let's get started. Uh, what happens? Look, now uh, move air is done high pressure se, low pressure. So the uh, ocean, because these are months of September, October, is when uh, winter start हो जाते हैं तो land है वो जल्दी cool up होना start होती है तो इधर होता है जो land पे create होता है वो होता है warm uh, high pressure zone और जो oceans पे create होता है वो होता है low pressure zone तो air move करती है high pressure से low pressure zone पे ठीक है तो uh, oceans के अंदर हो रहा है low pressure और land के ऊपर हो रहा है high pressure तो air move करेगी high pressure से low pressure so, this जो एयर मूव करेगी वो ऐसे स्ट्रेट मैनर में नहीं करेगी एक स्पाइरल टाइप का मैनर वो बनाएगी हर एक साइड से कोल्ड एयर आएगी और वो फिल अप करेगी ये लो प्रेशर जोन ठीक है जैसे कि आप पानी के अंदर एक रॉड घुमा दो तो कैसा सीन दिखता है वैसा ही कुछ ये विंड्स मूव करती हैं ठीक है और दूसरा क्योंकि ये लो प्रेशर जोन है तो इधर टेंपरेचर हाई होगा तो इधर का टेंपरेचर 27 डिग्री से हाई होता है तभी जाके एक साइक्लोन फॉर्म हो सकता है ठीक है और अगर टेंपरेचर हाई होगा तो उधर एवापोरेशन होगा एवापोरेशन होगा तो क्लाउड बनेंगे क्लाउड बनेंगे तो बारिश आएगी ठीक है तो ये बारिश भी होगी साथ में सो so, होता है वर्टिकल विंड शेयर कम होना चाहिए ताकि जो वर्टिकल विंड होती है ना जो लो प्रेशर जोन है वो मेंटेन रहे वो जाए ना ठीक और दूसरा जो फॉर्मेशन ऑफ साइक्लोन में इंपॉर्टेंट है कोरियोलिस फोर्स अब विंड ऐसे स्ट्रेटली जाएंगी नदन हेमिस्फीयर में वो राइट right साइड मूव करके जाएंगी और सदन हेमिस्फीयर में वो लेफ्ट साइड मूव करके जाएंगी ठीक है क्योंकि कोरियोलिस फोर्स की वजह से इसीलिए वो एक स्पाइरल टाइप का मोशन क्रिएट करेंगी क्योंकि इस पे कोरियोलिस फोर्स भी लगता है और लो प्रेशर वगैरह तो कह दिया अब ये बात याद रखना जो साइक्लोन होते हैं वो ओशन पे ही ज़्यादा डिस्ट्रक्शन कर मतलब ओशन पे होते हैं तभी तक वो स्ट्रांग होता है जब उन्होंने ओशन से अपनी पकड़ छोड़ दी लैंड पे पहुंच गए तो फिर उनकी जो पावर होती है वो कम हो जाती है क्यों क्योंकि उन्हें जो एनर्जी मिलती है वाटर में से एवोपरेट हो के बारिश करने की और जो लो प्रेशर जोन होता है वाटर पर वो चला जाता है तो इस वजह से 
अब समझो ना पानी होगा तो ऑपरेशन होगा ऑपरेशन होगा तो वाटर पेपर बनेंगे वाटर पेपर बनेंगे तो क्लाउड्स होंगे क्लाउड में से बारिश होगी ये होगा है ना और अगर पानी ही नहीं होगा तो ये मोमेंटम कहाँ से मिलेगा कंटिन्यू वाटर का ठीक है तो ये होता है फॉर्मेशन ऑफ साइक्लोन इन टू थाउजेंड फोर एट कंट्रीज ऑफ इंडियन ओशन अग्रीड टू हैव कॉमन नेमिंग सिस्टम ऑफ साइक्लोन्स इन इंडियन ओशन एंड ईच कंट्री प्रोवाइड लिस्ट सबमिट अ लिस्ट ऑफ नेम्स अरेंज इन अल्फाबेटिकल ऑर्डर इन अ मैट्रिक्स फॉर्म these suggested names should be neutral politically culturally and in the religion context and this names should not uh, af- affect any gender in a negative way and this name should be not more than 8 letters and if any country uh, raise an objection then these names should be removed so this uh, matrix was expired earlier in 2019 so the new matrix will were given and uh, in this matrix is 13 countries were there and these are the 13 countries so this is a matrix system so you can see this uh, table and this table uh, here the cyclone setup was also there so today's fact is these cyclone have different names in different regions it sounds like funny na no? one kid with so many names so let's uh, let us know that what are these names so they are known as cyclone in indian ocean region these same cyclones were known as hurricanes in caribbean and uh, atlantic ocean region and these cyclones were known as uh, typhoon in south china sea and typhi in japan and uh, willy willy in northern part of australia so this is all about cyclones this is all about cyclones and now i will uh, give you some answers of yesterday's question in my video of decision arc so uh, these questions are which kind of democracy is a uk uk is uk direct democracy or indirect democracy uk is indirect democracy uh first thing we have to know that what is di- direct democracy and indirect democracy direct democracy is when the people uh, gov- people by people only the bill was passed and the bill was approved by the voting of people but in indirect democracy the representative who will uh, who will vote for a act or a bill for example if a government uh, uh, introduced constitution um, uh, if government introduced a citizenship amendment act and uh, the uh, people of that uh, country will vote for that uh, bill then this kind of uh, democracy is known as direct democracy but uh, uh, if uh, in the case of indirect democracy the government will introduce con- uh, citizenship amendment act then mm, the representative who were chosen by people like i had vote in my region for uh, x party and uh, from that x party one representative was was seated in parliament so that x person of that x party will vote in beh- uh, behalf of me and the people of my region for that constitu- uh, that citizenship amendment act so this type of uh, democracy is known as indirect democracy but is direct democracy where the bill or act was voted by people only in indirect democracy the bill or act was voted by representative who were chosen by people so uh, uk was a indirect democracy the only example i remember of direct democracy is switzerland and uh, uh, yeah in india the in panchayat system this direct democracy were there but in uh, uh, in center and state level there is no direct democracy there is an indirect democracy so next question was uh, which kind of constitution does uk have written or unwritten written constitution is where a single book uh, 
made for the whole constitution but its unwritten constitution is known when there are many bills bill 1 bill 2 bill 3 uh, were amended at different time or in same time also and these bills uh, were uh, form a uh, these bills uh, when joined together were known uh, and made a constitution this kind of constitution is known as unwritten constitution where is written constitution is a single book of constitution these both are can be amended but uh, in many countries the method of amendment may be rigid or flexible in india there is a uh, both rigid and flexible too so the last question is uh, which is not a part of uk so ireland is not a part of uk uk and uh, uh, all other is uh, the part of uk only so my next question is which country had given the name of cyclone sitar uh what is the full form of uh, imd and uh, from the following which is not a factor affecting the formation of cyclone so uh, that's all for today's video uh, if you liked it please like share and subscribe and uh, i hope you enjoyed it thank you